I was going probably five, six times a day, um, but the tests that they were doing on me in the hospital um, were coming back very concerning. So I had um, a calprotectin of 120, sorry, a um, CRP of 127. CRP, um, your C-reactive yeah. protein in your yeah. blood was 127. Yeah. 127. So that was a that was a big eyebrow raise. I didn't really know what it meant until I did a bit more research into sort of medicine and how to interpret blood tests. I didn't realise how out of range it was. You know, when yes. you see that number on an exclamation mark next to it, you think, okay, that's out of range. But I didn't really realise the, the severity of it um, until yeah a bit later on. But yeah, so some uh, urgency. Uh, about six bowel movements a day, a lot of blood, um, you know, past a lot of blood and a lot of discomfort. Uh, and yeah, just really, really severely badly blood test results um, coming up with CRPs and uh, my liver was also an issue. Yeah. But yeah. Where, where are your symptoms now? How many bowel movements do you have a day? I have one a day, like clockwork in the morning, <laughs> just like I used to when I was younger. And okay. Yeah. It's okay. great, you know, people take for granted going once a day and just feeling fine all day, don't they? There you I go. think everyone who's had a chronic bowel condition knows that, you know, it's, it's taken for granted just being able to just go. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> taken for granted. Yeah. Uh, are you, and I know you've had chronic bleeding and steroids and all this, are you getting any blood anymore? No, I haven't seen blood in ages now. Beautiful. Um, yeah, right. no, no issues whatsoever. Are you are you uh, are you on any steroids? Are you on any prednisone? No, no drugs for so. Oh, all right. How many? How long have you been on prednisone now? Months and months now. Months and months. Of four. For the first and time in how long? Three and a half years. Three and a half years. First time off prednisone. Yeah. Awesome job. That's yeah. huge, buddy. Um, yeah, and can are you getting any cramping, pain, low energy? No, I, my energy shot up. I had a little period uh, when I first started the course when uh, my weight dropped a little bit because so I was yep. just adjusting to the new diet. But, you know, I shot I shot back quick. My body, once once it got into that healing zone, my body shot back quickly. And uh, I went up to even heavier, you know, I think if anyone knows what rugby is in America, it's, it's basically just American football about pads. You know, there's a lot yeah. of big guys and... Uh, I'm one of the smaller ones and it's always been a little bit about having that healthy weight and I shot up even higher than I was before, um, you know, eating less food. So, wow. you know, it's, 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 yeah, it's just easy. And, you know, like me and you have talked, talked about as well, it's allowed me to be a better athlete because I feel better, you yes. know, while I'm training. Um, I, the energy, having the energy after you train is, is a godsend, you know, to, to go and do something else. That's the irony of it, because we always yeah. think oh, this is crippling me from my fitness or my athletic performance, and you're starting to realize, wait a minute, everything I've learned can actually make me a better athlete than I ever was before. Yeah. Spike Crohn's it's... or colitis or any of that. Like, where's your CRP now, your C-reactive protein? It came back as four when I four. last had it. So yeah, the, the, the range, the healthy range in the UK is zero to 10 and it came back as four. So zero to 10, it came know, back as four. So it went from yeah. 127 on steroids yeah. to a four, no medication free. And what about your uh, calprotectin? Uh, my calprotectin, we got that redone. That's back in the normal range as well. Beautiful. So you're I can't remember the exact number, but that's all the way down, back down to the normal range. So we saw coming off the steroids, normal bowel movements, no blood, normal inflammatory markers in your system for the first time in years. For the and, first time in years, yeah. And here's the kicker, and a lot of people are going, all right, he mentioned the diet. What diet is he on? Do you Would you consider yourself on a diet, Reese? Not anymore. I feel like at the start, you've got to be a little bit selective yes. with, you know, especially I, I would say to anyone, you know, wondering about doing a really hard diet. I mean, this isn't one of those crazy diets when you're asking me to drink 10 pureed bananas every day. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you know, it's not too, with a few slight adjust, adjustments, it's not too dissimilar to how I was eating before. I, I, I like to eat healthy anyway, um, yes. just as part of my lifestyle. But, you know, you're not asking me to do anything crazy. You're asking me to, be a little bit strict to myself for the reward of having the ability to go on and you know not not do what I want ever. Do you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't yeah. ever stray away 
from it completely, but I've built myself up to a point where I can have a wider diet now, eat exactly the foods that I would want to eat. Yes. So it's about... You have a lifestyle and a way of eating that makes you happy and healthy. Yeah, I'd, I'd eat the way that I'm eating every day, even if I wasn't a girl Yeah, I think one of the things that was most personal to me that you said is, food will never heal you. It's it Food puts your body in a position where it can do what it's meant to do. Yeah. So as long as I didn't add any insults to my body, you know, anything that was difficult to digest, as long as I kept it clean and easy to digest, then my body would do the rest. And that's exactly what it did. That's it. That's it. The body yeah. will be able to have a healing response because the two things we need from food, reduce inflammatory response and increase nutrient absorption. That's exactly it. That, yeah. It's no diet. That's it. And no. if you're doing restrictive eating habits, it's because of a strategy. And you yeah. understand that strategy. You accept that strategy. And then you can open it up with that strategy as it makes sense, right? You've been able to jump back into your athletic performance. I mean, how, how often are you working out? And do you feel like you have to be careful with building muscle and, and, and doing powerful movements? I think I, I built myself back up slowly, but I'm now training sometimes twice a day, six times wow. a week. So, wow. You know, I, I, I'm in the gym every day and then I'm doing at least 10 hours of rugby every week with my club as well. So. So I'm pretty much, you know, full time you know, with this sort of stuff now. And I think it's about keeping a healthy balance. Do you know what I mean? You know, if you come home from, if you're planning to like put on muscle with this and you're worrying about it, it's just about fueling yourself the correct way and listening to your body. You know, when your body is telling you that you need to take it easy one session or even just do like a stretching session or have a day off even, I think you just need to listen to yourself because I think one of the most beneficial things about doing this course is that you become intrinsically aware of your body you know and you, you become aware of the signs that your body's giving you you know if your body's telling you no this is too much then you know you know it's too much I feel like I couldn't be my true authentic self until I had this this problem solved and I, I knew I knew about CCR and I know about Crohn's colitis um, because I'd researched it it's about it, for me it's about taking that leap um, it was about prioritizing what's important and I felt like if anyone's having anxiety about starting about anxiety that is you know crippling enough to completely rule your life it's about I think half of the, the battle is actually taking the first step towards getting better. Because I remember after that first call that I had with you, even it was marginally alleviated straight afterwards, I knew that I was on the path to being better. And I had faith in the fact that it would work because I was doing it. And I knew that if I could go out and play rugby when I've got a cow protecting of 26,000 or something like that, <laughs> It, you know, if I could go out and play rugby and go out and train and have the determination to go and do that, then I could do this course and give it my all and get better. I feel like the hardest, the, the biggest rewards come off the hardest challenges. Do you know, like, I feel like doing something to completely change your life around is, is a big step. And, you know, maybe taking a step back from the things that you love doing to give you a chance you know yourself the best chance and your body the best chance of healing yourself to the fullest extent you know that's a that's a small price to pay for a, a lifetime of health afterwards um, and i think that taking that first step is always just i'll just reiterate that it's just the most important if anyone's you know if anyone's kicking about you know twiddling their thumbs thinking about whether to sign up to ccl i would literally just say just do it because I wish that I'd done this the day after I came out of hospital. Yeah. I mean, I've done it now. I'm happy that I've done it now and I'm happy that I've got my answer. But I wish that I'd saved myself three years of struggling and determination, just procrastinating on whether to do it or not. I think, I think with, with the SHIELD program, I think it, you, you learn to, you learn to deal with stresses better. So, so when, when we say we want to test that, when, when we're in our process of um, increasing the amount of stress I'm putting on my body, yes, um, it's nice to know with a shield program there's always something to fall back on. Yep. It's as as well as a shield, it's also a support. 
anyone out there who's listening, who's resonating, maybe it's another uh, athlete, maybe another rugby player, maybe a football player, maybe a soccer, basketball player, or someone who just is resonating with you, what would be your point of advice? If they're at the beginning line, you are where you are, what would be your advice to them about natural healing and the SHIELD program? I think the toughest pill for me to swallow that you said was that when I said we'll take a step back from, from sport for a very short amount of time, I think, I think you know, given the hard love answer, it, it, sw it swallow your pride a little bit. I know that these things are important to you, but without health, we are really anything. I mean, nothing's guaranteed in the future. And if you're playing sport and you're an athlete, it's a privilege to be playing those games. And you want to be playing the best you can. And I can honestly say that feeling better and feeling, you know, optimally healthy has such an impact on the way you're playing and the mentality of your performance and the mentality of your training. If you feel well, you do well in life. And that's the exact same in sport. It's hard, it's hard. I, I kept saying to you that it's so hard for me to pretend to be this rugby player and go to training. I didn't tell anyone I was sick. I didn't want anyone to think any less of me, but I didn't want to tell anybody on the training park, you know, Rugby is a game where it's 15 guys running into each other as hard as they can. You don't want to show any weakness there, do you? Yeah. yeah. So I, you know, I had to swallow my pride a little bit, take a step back for a very short amount of time, my add, and then get myself to a level where, you know, I went onto that pitch knowing that I was 100% every time. And I think going back to what I said earlier, it's about taking that first step. Uh, the rewards are massive. And if you're a sportsman and you're, you know, you're as committed to the sport as I am and you love the game as much as you can. I mean, it's a very small price to pay um, for, you know, a lifetime of health and good performance in the game that you love.